Hey everybody out there, I hope you guys are all doing well today. And today for you guys, I'm going to be doing a deck update of a deck that I really enjoy playing for fun a lot. And that is my Ancient Gear deck. So before I get into the deck profile, I do want to mention to you guys that there's a multitude of different ways you can play Ancient Gears. With the updates to Master Rule 4, now us being in quote unquote Master Rule 5, there's a lot of different ways you can play the deck in a fusion heavy variation OTK to just a standard, you know, regular just playing the deck and, you know, when the opportunity presents itself to go in front OTK. There's a multitude of different ways you can play this deck. Your version may be different than mine and you may be doing running different tech cards than I am running. Um, I really enjoy playing this deck. I've been playing it for multiple, multiple years now. And from playing with it recently and revisiting it, it um, just a few months ago, back in November and the fall, to going back about a month ago and revisiting this deck again, I've definitely updated it to make it more, uh, let's just say, viable in the upcoming Master Rules. So, without further ado, let us get into the deck profile. I just wanted to go over all that with you guys. So first off, I run two Ancient Gear Golem and one Ancient Gear Ultimate Pound. Uh, people run different ratios of these guys. Some people run it as a one of, ancient, one Ancient Gear Golem and one Ancient Gear Ultimate Pound. Some people run just one Ancient Gear Golem and no Ultimate Pound. Some people run what I've been running, which works well for me, which is two Ancient Gear Golem and one Ancient Gear Ultimate Pound. The reason I run the two Ancient Gear Golem guys, if you guys don't know, is because you have access to Ancient Gear Fusion, which is supposed to be getting reprinted soon for all you guys out there. So that's the reason why it makes this a lot more better. Uh, and in addition to that, you can use uh, it as Fusion Material, to, especially in going for things such as Ancient Gear um, Megaton Golem, which can just attack multiple times. So that's the reason why, and you can also easily bring it on the field to use it as a beat stick and just beat things down with it. So this is the ratio I run of these big boys here, um, and they've worked out pretty well for me. So that's where we run. We also run two Ancient Gear uh, Reactor Dragon. Um, you could run this as a three of, I don't really like two anymore, but as a two of, I really like it. And it's been perfectly fine running it as a two of in the deck for a while now. So, two Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon. Uh, then we run our Searcher for the deck, which is Ancient Gear Wyvern. I run as a three of in the deck. Um, this card's really useful, love it. Definitely a staple three of in the deck. Um, overall, I have no complaints. <laughs> really good card. Uh, next up, we have three Ancient Gear Hunting Hound. Um, some people run different ratios of this bad boy with the updates now, especially with Ballista, uh, which we'll talk about here in a second. Uh, people run different ratios of Hunting Hound. I've seen one, I've seen two, I've seen three. It, it just depends how, how fusion-focused you want to go with the deck, really. Uh, me, personally, I've always liked three Hunting Hound. It's been working well for me. Every time I go back, I sometimes go back between two and three, two and three. Uh, the last six months, I've been running three of it. I've been fine with it. But you could play around with the ratio if you want to. Next, I run a double Ancient Gear reef, uh, Frame, excuse me, Gear Frame, which is really nice to help search out your Ancient Gear Fusion. It's pretty nice, and you can also use it as rank four material if need be. So, two Ancient Gear Frame. We also run one gearbox as well. So uh, I wouldn't run more than one gearbox. Some people don't even run gearbox, but it nowadays with the, one of the tech cards I'm running, I'll talk more about this here in a second, I'm able to search out with gearbox infinite track anchor drill, which is pretty nice card to run in the deck. So that's one thing you can search out with gearbox as well. Uh, next up we run double flying Pegasus railroad stampede. So. So, so, so. This is some of the tech cards. So, pretty much everything I've shown you up to now. So, pretty much everything I've just shown you here. You know, Frame, Gearbox, Hound, Wyvern, Reactor, Golem. You know, we always run those in any Ancient Gear deck out there. Pretty much. Now, what some people do is because, especially now, with a new card that came out of Do Overload, um, you can easily go for this card, which is pretty dang good which is Ancient Gear Ballista. So Ballista is really nice for what it can do, and you have to understand why I'm running some of these cards to help 
make it easier to go for Ballista. Um, but Ballista requires just two Earth monsters, and Ballista's effect is pretty good, which I'm going to read to you quickly because you have to understand how Ancient Gears have been updated recently. If this card is Link Summon, you can add one Ancient Gear monster or one, one Gear Town from your deck to your hand. You can target one spell or trap you control, and one face-up monster your opponent controls, destroy that card you control, and if you do, change the opponent's attack and defense to zero until the end of the turn. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. So, great card, as you can imagine. Now, people run different cards to help go for Ballista. Um, I see one card that people are running a lot of, which is pretty much the huge level 10 train that came out of the same set as this card in the Millennium, not the Millennium set, but I forget when it was, it was like a year ago, Sisters of the Rose, I think it was, where pretty much the only benefit that card has is it's a special summoned Earth Machine. That's the only reason people seem to run it. <laughs> I never attack with it because you have to discard two cards to do so. And so I was sitting here and I was saying pretty much the only reason I'm running this card in my deck, I, I literally tried it out because I have the card, I tried it out and I said to myself, this card's cool and everything, but the only reason I'm running it is to go into Ballista. Or for other Link plays. Mainly Ballista. And I was like, there's got to be another way, because, you know, I was doing it going first and second, and I was just like, this is not optimal, really, how I want to play this deck. And so, you can run that, but it's pretty much you're just using it to make a special summon play to go for Ballista. And I was like, I want something a little bit more versatile. And I thought about it and thought about it, and I thought of Flying, Rare, Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. So let's go over why this card is. I like this over the other one. Granted, it's a little bit slow, but the versatility upside is way more worth it. So let's talk about it. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one Earth Machine monster in your graveyard, except Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede, Special summon it in defense position, but negate its effects. You can also target one face-up monster you control. The level of that monster or this card becomes that level of the other. That's pretty nice if you want to go for some cute little Xyz plays. You can't declare attacks the turn you activate this card except with Xyz monsters. Huh. You can only use the effect of Flying Pegasus Stampede once per turn. So... Second effect is cool if you wanted to use it as exceed, big exceed plays. But that's not the reason why I'm running it. The fact is, this card is normal or special summon. I get to bring an Earth back from my graveyard. Well, I guess, guess what, guys? Um, I have a lot of Earth monsters here, right? I have a chunk of them. I can easily go normal or special, bring this out to the field, mind you, Go for Ballista, and maybe even do something else on top of it. So what I'm trying to say here is it's more versatile because it helps you go for rank 4 plays. We're born things from Graveyard because the cool thing about this is it says special su you can target one Earth Machine monster in your Graveyard. It doesn't say what level. You could bring back an Ancient Year Golem, have the fusion in your hand, and go for the fusion play. It's pretty good. That's why I like this card over the the train. The train is good. It's special summons. But the benefit of this is it can help you go for multiple different things. Rank 4s, Xyz, help you out with different combinations of plays. It's a little bit more versatile than just a special summon machine monster for this only. This helps you go for this and multiple other things. That's why I like Flying Pegasus. I don't like it as a 3 of. I like it as a 2 of. Try it out. Try it out. I promise you, you'll say this is a lot more versatile, and I like it. So, I'm just going to say, I tried it out. I tried the, the train out, and I was like, there's got to be a better way. The only thing I'm running this this big $20 card is because I was like, <laughs> to bring out Ballista, really? I was like, I feel like it's a Garnet if I'm not going for Ballista. So, I tried something else out, and this has been working a lot better for me. So, that's all I'm going to say. The next thing we run, and I'm sorry for spending so much time on that, is Infinite Track. In, uh, anchor Drill, uh, as well as Lithosagum. Lithosagum is pretty straightforward. You have a bunch of Earths. You can go Lithosagum, send some Earth to Graveyard, bring it back with Flying Pegasus and go for Ballista, or go for a Rank 4 play, or whatever you want to do. So you see where this is going here, right? 
you see where this is going. Lithosagam, your, most of your deck is Earth. It's great to run. You run it. Anchor Drill. People don't know what this card does. I'm going to read it to you quickly because not many people know, unless you've played Infinitrax. If this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one Earth Machine Monster from your hand in defense position. Except Infinite Anchor Drill. You can target one other machine monster you control. The levels of both that monster and this card become the combined original level of those two monsters until the end of this turn. So mainly you're using this because you can help spam out more earth machines. That's about all the reason you're right. And you only can do it once per turn, so that's why we run it as a one of. So as you can see here, let's special summon a whole bunch of things out and go for some big plays. That's the name of the game. All right. Two silver gadget, two gold gadget. Why are you still running these? Because they're nice to have in the deck. Hey, hey, you want to see some cool little plays here? Uh, gold gadget, bring out flying Pegasus, uh, filing Pegasus effect, bring something else back that's Earth. Uh, go for Ballista, and I have a gold gadget, so I can maybe go in for something else if I have an extension play. You see where this is going here? Yeah. Granted, I will admit... I, it does kind of suck that the gold and silver gadget are light attribute and not earth. But besides that, they're really useful in the deck. They help you go for Anaconda, which is nice, because Anaconda's requirement is two effect monsters. So you can go for this. This will also help out with your fusion plays. Gold, silver, bam, Anaconda. There you go. So, yeah, multiple reasons to do so. So I run the double uh, gold and double silver still. Don't regret it. Uh, next up we run our three gear town. Pretty straightforward. Uh, gear town's really nice to have in the deck, so we run it as a three of in the deck, as well as one terraforming. Yes, you can search out gear town, but I'd rather search out other cards in the deck. So for that reason, you have multiple different ways of searching it, mainly three gear town and terraforming, but you can search it through other means as well. Uh, next up, we have uh, three Ancient Gear Catapult. This helps you destroy cards on the field. But in addition to this, I run one Foolish Burial of Goods because you can send it to Graveyard and use its Graveyard effect to destroy things right away. So, saying that, three Catapult and one Foolish Burial. Uh, two Ancient Gear Fortress. Some people run three of this. That's fine. I like two of it. It's up to you. Very good card to give you protection for stuff and doing things if it gets destroyed. So, two Ancient Gear Fortress. You could run three if you want to, though. Uh, two Ancient Gear Fusion. Like I said, this card's going to get reprinted soon, guys, so don't worry too much about it. But this is just one of the ways that can help you go for major fusion plays from your deck, depending upon your setup on your field. I also like one Overload Fusion. It's just nice to have. You don't have to run it, but it's very nice for me. As well as one Power Bond. Some people are like running double and triple Power Bond in this deck because they're trying to make it an OTK Ancient Gear deck. I mean, if you want to go down that route, be my guest, but that hasn't worked out a lot for me. So, yeah, that's why I'm just running the one Power Bond and one Overload Fusion along with the Hunting Hounds, along with the Ancient Gear Fusion. So... These are just nice to have. Uh, we also run one Monster Reborn as well, which is nice. And then in addition to that, I'm gonna talk about this for a second, which is three Urgent Schedule in the deck. Oh my gosh. I hope this gets reprinted soon because this card is so amazing in this deck. It, like it's great in trains and I've played it in train decks, but oh, oh, but still my beating heart. I love this card in this deck. There's so many different combo plays you can do with this card in the deck. You run it. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, read the card, and then you'll understand why. That's all I'm going to say. Your mind will start going off of all the different combo plays you can do. So, three urgent schedule on the deck. Uh, next up, we run our field center. We run one ultimate ancient gear golem. We run one ultimate, uh, excuse me, ancient gear megaton golem. So, ultimate gear ancient golem and Ancient Gear Golem, Megaton Golem. Eh. Uh, double Chaos Ancient Gear Giant. Uh, and two Ancient Gear Howitzer. And that's pretty much all you run for the Ancient Gear Fusions. 
You could run other ones if you want to, but that's what I mainly run and I've been working with and it's been perfectly, perfectly fine. You know, Howard's are, I've seen people run at three of sometimes. That's perfectly fine if you want to do that. Uh, Megaton, some people run at multiples. Howard, you know, Chaos, some people run at one and two. And then we always run the one Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. We also run the Double Ballista, which is essential in the deck. So Double, uh, it's brand new out of uh, Dupa, uh, Dual Overload, which is Ancient Gear Ballista, which I talked about earlier. I also run one Platinum Gadget. This is because we run the gadgets and it's nice to have. We also won one Verte Anaconda, uh, which is very nice. I explained this card earlier, how easy it is to go for in the deck and set up fusion plays. I also run one Cross Sheep. Um, you do, you can and don't have to if you want to run Cross Sheep. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. Uh, for your rank fours, I run uh, Gear Giant X, Crooked Cook, which is another way of popping cards. Um, heavy, heavy Armored Train Iron Wolf and Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. If you run it to run more level 4s, go right ahead. One thing I have been considering cutting out is Cross Sheep. While it is a good card, uh, I'm usually going for Verte Anaconda more than Cross Sheep. It's up to you. Um, and then you can maybe run another level 4 if you wanted to over here. But that's up to you to decide if you want to cut down on the number of Cross Sheep that you own. Uh, we'll run a run. But that's what I've been running thus far. Uh, like I said, the deck is pretty straightforward. I do apologize for spending some time on certain cards, but I wanted to discuss that with you in depth because there's a multitude of different ways you can play this deck and other tech cards out there. Sky Pegasus I really like. If you if you still feel comfortable about running the big level 10 train to help go for Ballista, be my guest. That's, that's, a, that's your prerogative and that's the way you want to play the deck. But I definitely would highly suggest looking at other ways um, because the, I, I want this deck to be more versatile in the plays that it can do and not just be like okay I'm going to go for the link play and that's all I'm going to do and that's the only reason I'm running this card so yeah and if you want to make it more OTK centric hey take my build and play around with the ratios of cards you want to run be my guest this is just a template and this is what I've been playing it's been working out well for me at locals um, you know, when I've been playing online with my buddies from locals recently because we can't go out, but I love it. It's a good deck. Till next time, guys, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. Go Vinian Crowder from GX. Go Dr. Crowler. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody, and good luck dueling to all of you.